Hi, this is Pad Love with Pad's Two Cents, and I'm gonna use an example. It's a strange example, but you'll get my point as soon as I make my point. Okay, listen. <laughs> when I was younger, my father used to make me drink a, a teaspoonful or a tablespoonful of cod liver oil. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Now, but let me tell you this. We could sit down for dinner later on in the day, eat one of my favorite meals, have a ball just enjoying that meal, laughing, joking, having a good time, and you know how sometimes while you eat, you might burp a little bit? Well, instead of tasting the food that I'm eating, what do I taste? Cod liver oil, yuck! Well, that tends to kind of ruin the experience. That puts a damper on things, doesn't it? No matter how good the meal is tasting, if you are stuck, with too much of a nasty aftertaste, it ruins what you are partaking of at the moment. Now, this is what I want you to think about. Think about life. And just recently, maybe five or 10 years ago, you had a very sour experience, very hurtful experience. And here you are in the present, and you have a wonderful relationship, a wonderful friendship, wonderful whatever. But something about that back there keeps souring every beautiful moment you have right here in the present. And it's difficult for you to enjoy the blessing that's before you for constantly being reminded of the pain that's behind because of the aftertaste. There are people who, as children or teenagers, you know, some of your parents may have left, may have upped and left, ran off with another lover, left your mama, left your papa, whatever. And you felt abandoned and you ended up with deep, 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 deep-seated abandonment issues. And every time you get in a relationship, you end up souring the relationship and running people away. Why? You wonder why. You know, what's going on? You know, what don't they like about me? Well, it might be that every time they get out in public, and there are other people to interact with, you get a sour disposition. You get an attitude. Because everybody they converse with, if they chuckle a little bit or talk a few seconds too long, in your mind, they're flirting with them. They're flirting with them and they're trying to give them signals to have a secret rendezvous behind your back because they're not faithful. They're trying to find a way to cheat on you. See, if your mama or your pappy did it, then they must be doing it too. That's how that nasty aftertaste sours the very present day beautiful situation you're in. You can't enjoy this for still dealing with that. That's when you know you need healing, baby. When they're looking at you like, how many times do I have to explain to you? It's a coworker. How many times do I have to tell you, we go to church together? Why is it everybody I have a conversation with, I've got to be flirting with? If you hear that in every relationship you're in, you better stand in front of the mirror. Say, okay, Lord, it's not this lover, it's not that lover, it's not this one or the other. It's me, Lord, standing in the need of prayer, healing, deliverance, freedom. Help me, Lord. And you seek that help until you start getting it.
and you keep seeking it until you no longer need it in those areas. God bless you. You'll thank me one day for that. You may not like it now, but you'll thank me. God bless you.